Hello friends, welcome to Git Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question in the series. What is the main difference between Git clone and Git remote? What is the main difference between Git clone and Git remote? Very simple. The main difference between Git clone and Git remote is that Git clone is used to create a new local repository, whereas Git remote is used in an existing repository. So whenever we want to create a like work on an existing project and then you already have a like remote repository you just do git clone and it will create a local repository right and git remote is only for an existing repository we can use the git remote so when we do git remote it will add a new reference to the existing remote repository so that we can track further changes but if we do git clone, we just create a new local repository and we can start working on it because the local repository will be the copy of the remote repository from which we are cloning. Then comes another question, what is git version control? It's a theoretical question. Git version control helps us in managing the changes to source code over time by a software team whenever we have multiple team members and they keep on changing the source code at that time we want to maintain a maintain a series of changes we want to see maintain the history so we want to track all the changes so all these cards going going into a special kind of database and if let's say we make a mistake and you want to go back in time and you want to see what was the previous version and we can fix the mistake by looking at the previous version so that is a version control which is provided by git and it also helps the team in collaborating. So whenever they are working on a multiple features or on a big project where everybody has their own responsibility, then they can keep on doing their own work and keep merging the changes with the confidence that everything is tracked and the version control is intact in the Git. And if there is any bug that is introduced by a specific change, so we can find that what was that change and revert back to the working version before the bug. So that way the version control is very helpful. 